I shall one more come and give all praise of now, y'all, by Shum, Mashaka, Shah, Hakodashim, Shah, Yahweh, Shalom, Baha Shum, Yahweh, Katawa, La Ashala, one more more, Yahweh, Lava Shayam, sir. All right. Um, I'll praise the Most High and the Son. I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father once again. And uh, much love to all the brothers doing the work in sincerity and meekness, man. Now, um, I'm watching the um, brother. Uh, uh, Avenger for Yahweh Shah. Uh, he did a video called GMS Wisconsin Cult Member Thinks There. <laughs> he called the brother Cult Member, man. But, uh, I mean, oh, man. Some of you niggas' minds ain't right, man. Like the script say, uh, some of you niggas' minds just ain't right, man. That's just what it is, man. It says, GMS Wisconsin Cult Member Thinks There is Nothing Wrong with the Bop May Emoji. You know, and, and any nigga that think, if you, any nigga that will justify the Baphomet is a demon, man. And that's just, that's just what it is, man. You're, you're the devil, man. You know, that's, that's, the, that's really, it's, it's, it's a demonic, you know. I'm going to show in a minute. Let me get something real quick, though. You know, you can't, it ain't no way, you know, you can get around that, man. You can't just, you can't be justified. Baha Shema Mashak Yawashah throwing up Baha May hand signs, man. Are you fucking crazy? The scripture says this, man. Let me get this. This is, uh, sorry. This is 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, no, I'm going to get 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. But I say the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. I would not that you should have fellowship with devils, man. You're not supposed to have no fellowship with the Baphomet hand sign, man. You cannot drink the cup of Yahweh and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils, man. So you can't say you down with Hamashiach Yahushai and Abinawa Yahweh, but you up there throwing up Baphomets, man. Okay? Let me get another cut for the Baphomet hand sign. This is Job chapter uh Job chapter fourteen. Is it Job fourteen I want? It's not Job fourteen. It's Job chapter uh eleven and fourteen. If iniquity be in thy hand, put it far away. Okay? That's iniquity when you throwing that hand sign up, man, because of what it represents, man. Let's go to the sign of the horns. It says, It is earliest known use can be seen in India as an atropaic gesture very commonly used by Guatemala Buddha. This sign is used with Buddha, man. Okay? Who was born in Nepal as Karana Mudra, which is uh, synonymous with expulsion of demons well, they say this this uh supposed to get get rid of demons, but this don't get rid of demons. This just bring on more demons, man. The sign, it says, the sign of the horns is used during religious rituals in Wicca, and we know that's the devil, man, to invoke or represent the horned god. Okay, so if you justify Baphomet, you justify horn god, Karana Mudra, Manu Kornuto. Okay, and 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 that, uh, and that was uh the one dude's uh whole thing. I forgot the, his his name, man. There it go right here. I forgot the dude's name. I think his name is Alistair. No, no, it's definitely not Alistair Crawley. It's the other one, dude, the bald headed dude, the uh, satanic priest in our uh, church, the Church of Satan. I forgot his name. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That bald head fucking devil, man. Uh, let me get that. Uh, dang. Is it Mano Cornuto? Mano Cor... Because uh, that's in the Satanic Bible, man. As you, you, you basically, it's like selling your soul. The Mano Cornuto is an Italian amulet in ancient origin. Mano means hand and corno means uh, horn. The charm represents the hand gesture in which an index and little fingers are extended while the middle and ring fingers are curled into the palm. The reference is a horn head of an animal, which that's like basically goat, man, goat worship, man. And that's that's anti, uh, anti-Christ anti spirit, man, anti-Hamashiach, man. Look, you got the damn Pope throwing it up, man. 
the scripture says we ain't supposed to follow the world, man, and learn the way not to the heathen, man. Ain't none of the prophets was throwing up no damn boppies. Yeah, this is the dude I was talking about, that bald head demon, man. I forgot his name. Y'all know his name. Yeah, Anton LaVey, that's his name. The Baphomet Prince. You got George Bush doing it. Come on, Israel. Get it together, man. I got to get that. What's that? Uh, in the Satanic Bible. I ain't had it in a minute. Had the uh, quote. Bible. Uh, more hand. Is it uh, Baphomet? Yeah, let's see, let's say something about that real quick. I ain't even watched the video yet, man. You know, because I already seen the video when, when he would get on the brother about the Baphomet, but you know, man, Jake, man, you supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, great millstone, man. You know what I'm saying? The man of the Lord, man. What type of example is that, man? Baphomet. Uh, is the term usually described an idol? So it's dealing with an idol with the sab sabbatic goat, female, male, and female. Let me see, man. I wanted to. I I wish I had that quote. That quote. It's a quote in the Satanic Bible. They said that uh, Alistair Crowley. It says the Baphomet a Levi was to become an important figure with the college mythology of Thelma. Uh, so I can go down. Let's see what else we got down here. All right, they ain't had too much on here. The goat, goat. Okay, I guess it's the sign of Baphomet, the seagull. The Segel of Baphomet is the official insignia of the Church of Satan and is trademarked and copyrighted by the Church of Satan. The Segel of Baphomet first appeared on the cover of Satanic Mass LP in 1968. Uh, let's go down a little bit, see if we can get some meat. Uh, the familiar goat head inside of the inverted pentagram did not become far more symbol of Satanism until the founding Church of Satan. Uh, this ain't really got it. It's a it's something where it's talk about that in the Satanic Bible, man. It's a sign of uh, uh basically showing your allegiance to Satan, man. And and, it, and you got brothers calling on the name of Yahweh, man, doing this. It's like hopefully I can get it. Uh, Crazy man, how you and GMS and you throwing up boffies, man? Oh, I know. You got other other brothers that throw up boffies too. You know, and sometimes you can throw up a boffy on accident. Some people, you know, actually throw up boffies, but you got brothers that's willfully throwing up boffies, man. And and even if you throwing it up on accident, man, you supposed to be perfect, man. So you supposed to correct that. I mean, I know brother say, oh, oh, it's just a it's just a hand sign, brother. This this shit wicked, man. The hell is wrong with you niggas, man? You think you think Yahweh's down with this? The Satanic Bible. Uh Uh, it's like it, y'all shot a lot and, you know, put this all through the spirit. I ain't really just, you know what I'm saying, try to put together nothing. But it's, uh, it tell you that it's, uh, it's the satanic Bible plainly evidence that the hand sign, uh, let's see what we got, let's see what we got on here. It's from a website. They say Jesus is Savior, you know, they use Jesus, but we know that's, uh, Yahweh It says, well, no. 
known people showing off the hand signal, which represents Satan. I just read in Job 11 and 14, if iniquity be in your hand, you're supposed to uh, put it away. Okay. It's, uh, let's see what they got. The following is an excerpt. The following is an excerpt from the Satanic Bible. Horned hand or the mono cornuto. This gesture is the satanic salute. That's a satanic salute, man. A sign of recognition between an allegiance of members of Satanism or other unholy groups. Brother, don't don't be partakers of that, man. You know? We cannot be affiliated with that, man. The scripture says you don't you not so the gospel don't get blamed, man. You know, some people try to say, oh, this is hand sign, which means, man, it's all foolishness, man, and it's demonic, man. It's the spirit behind this. All the rappers do it. All the niggas in the NBA do it. All the people on TV do it. Come on, man. You can't justify this, man. I don't give a hell what you say. Look at this. And like every time I'm at work, my manager straight be throwing up the boffy. And they're not even, I don't know if they do it willfully or that's just their spirit. I don't know. But come on, man. You can't justify that, Jake. Wake up. Let's go back to this video. Who justifies their wickedness who just don't want to repent for wickedness. And they, you have to correct somebody who claims to know right from wrong. This, this is a shame. Now, the yeah, who claims to know right from wrong? A lot of brothers don't know right from wrong, man. You, you know, oh man, oh my goodness. Well, I just showed you that um, it's in the Satanic Bible as a, a gesture of those that are with Satan, man. So, like, Job say, if iniquity be in your hand, you're supposed to put it away, man. Let me see if I got something else. So. Um, I think I got one. Oh yeah, this is Malachi chapter uh three verse eighteen. It says, "I'll start at uh yeah eighteen. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not." You know, that's that's your actions, man. Your deeds, man. The Most High coming back to judge deeds, man. GMS cult member of Wisconsin. You know. Uh, GMS fruit of knowledge. Oh, uh, give me a law on the emoji. Laugh out loud and a false witness. We don't sell drugs or use them. Laugh out loud. I, I don't know nothing about that. But uh, and if we did what that, we got to do with your salvation. Give me a law on the emoji. Wow. Give me a law on the emoji. I just read if iniquity be in your hand. That's sorcery, bro. It says a witch is supposed to be put to death, bro. That comes from the heathen. Give me a law on the emotion. Look at this. This following is an excerpt from the Satanic Bible. Hand, horn hand or mano cornuto. This gesture is Satanic salute. A sign of recognition between an allegiance of members of Satanism and other unholy groups. So, the scripture said we're supposed to be holy, brother. This is this symbolic is unholy, man. And it's satanic salute, brother. Why would you salute your brother in the name of Satan? Come on, man. You know, I, I don't want. I'm not. I'm not here to condemn a brother, but I'm here to hopefully that brother will repent, man. That's super wicked, bro. That is of the devil, man. Give me the law on the emoji. Oh, man, let's get that in the, uh, John, man. This is the book of John, chapter uh, 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither things that are in the world, because in the world everybody's throwing up that Baphomet hand sign. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, and the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, it's not of the Father, but of the world. Okay? That hand sign is of the world, man. And a lot of idols be throwing that up. 
Like Buddha, bro. That come from Buddha. Karana Mudra. You talking about give me a law on the hand sign. Job 11 and 14 says if iniquity be in your hand. That's an idol, bro. All the idols is doing that, man. I can get, get hella statues throwing up the Bafi. Leviticus 19 and uh, what did I say? Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, it's like it. Yeah, man, we're not supposed to be dealing with no uh, sorcery, man. This is Leviticus. Oh, it's like it. This is Exodus chapter. Um, which one? Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And that's what the witches do. They say that hand sign is, is used to, to get demons off of people, man. You got me fucked up, man. Everybody that do that is throwing up, uh, is getting spirits all over them. All the rappers, man. All the rappers is throwing up the boffy. All them damn Chicago gremlins. Let me get a uh, Deuteronomy 18. Deuteronomy 18 and 10. Deuteronomy 18 and 10. There shall be not found among you anyone that maketh a son or daughter to pass through the fire, which you didn't do that. Or that uses divination, which that is. That's dealing with spirits, man. Or observer times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. So all, over, all that is against the law, bro. Um, I did a video um, talking about how he had a Baphomet emotion. And he tries to justify his wickedness and say that this is what he says to A-A-O-Y, Avenger for Yahweh shot. This is what he says in this dude crazy, man. to me on the comment board about a prior video I did. Now I'm doing another one to just uh, correct him because he's trying to justify himself. So he says, A-A-O-Y, Avenger for Yahweh shot. Give me the law on the emoji, laugh out loud. Now, brothers and sisters, this is just not any emoji. This ain't no happy face emoji. Yeah. This ain't no... Angry face emoji. Con. This ain't no smiley face or sad face emoji. Con. This is a Baphomet emoji. Oh so man. Says, give me the law. Give me a. This Negro is crazy. He done lost his damn mind. Give me the law on a Baphi? A lot of our people is just carnal as hell, man. What I was looking for, man. This is of the world, bro. This is of the way of the heathen, bro. Learn not the way of the heathen, man. Look at this. Fucking dragon doing it. Bill Clinton doing it. The Rock. Pope. Obama. But this is all a coincidence. This is just a coincidence, brother. This is just a coincidence, brother. Give me the law on it. We not supposed to follow wizards, man, and witches, man. That is the that is the when they do their sorcery, man. Go back to the uh That's crazy. My brother wouldn't say that. On the emotion laugh out loud. And he said, and false witness, we don't sell drugs or use them laugh out loud. So, again, addressing a false witness, no, there's no false witness because y'all you have been in the truth for a while and you got uh, your uh, leader caught TAC charges last year, second possession of TAC last year. You trying to play stupid and play them games and semantics. It's not working, man. All you're doing is boxing yourself in more. So who uh, falsely uh, bore false witness on you when we got proof of the case and then he came out on camera after we responded, y'all did a video where we used the drugs, but then you sit up there saying, and and false witness, we don't sell drugs and use them. When man, that's crazy, man. What did I say? The horn guy is one of two primary DTs found in Wicca. 
So this he's talking about give me the law on the emotion. Brother, the horn, the horn, it represents the horn god, bro, which is used in Wicca. Aren't we supposed to worship Yahweh alone, man? The horn god is one of the two primary deities found in Wicca. We're supposed to worship Yahweh Kai, bro. Not Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, why? By for me. That's crazy. What did it say? What did it say? It said the earliest known use can be seen in India as an apotropaic or a, a, a apotropaic gesture used by Gautama Buddha, who was born in Nepal as Karana Mudra. This man. So this is okay. Throwing up, throwing up double horns. The sign of the horns is used during religious rituals in Wicca to invoke or represent the horn god. Okay, we're not supposed to be dealing with no other gods, man. So that's that's the law, bro. Don't the law say we're supposed to worship the Most High only? So why are you giving praise to an emotion through your hand? Your leader said that openly admitted that he was going to use that marijuana that he had. Somebody he was going to do it. It's going to be a one-time thing. What nobody going to know. And the reason why you guys addressed it, because we exposed the fact that he had those charges. Or otherwise, y'all concealed that. Y'all already said it was going to be an inside thing among the camps, but you got exposed, man. So he says, give me the law on the emoji laugh out loud. And false witness, we don't sell drugs or use them, laugh out loud. And if we did, what that got to do with your salvation? It has a lot to do with my salvation because I got to warn my people to stay away from cults like you. I got to warn my people to be beware of false prophets and grievous wolves like you that's trying to enter in among the flock. So um, the first thing he said, I'm going to go back. He says, give me a law on the emoji, laugh out loud. Now, again, this is not any type of emoji. But a Baphomet emoji, that's what kind of emoji it is. All right, give me a law. You, you, you cut yourself, man. The signs of the horns is used during religious rituals in Wicca to invoke or represent the horn god. When you're trying to invoke something, you're trying to summon it, man. You try the horn god, bruh. You, and you think that's cute, man. You're supposed to be an example to the flock. What I said, man, and uh, um, Timothy, I think it's in Timothy, man. Invoke, beg, beseech, cite appeal to someone or something in authority for an action or support of an argument and insistence. Oh, man, to call on, pray to, it's synonymous with calling on and praying to. Oh man, so they to call on a deity, invoke. So, bruh, you're calling on Baphomet, man. So that means your God is Baphomet. If you if you if you would ask a question, where is the law on the emoji, bruh? That's a, that's that's a the satanic emoji, bruh. That represents the horn god. Come on, man. You supposed to be an example to the flock, man. What type of shit is that? Let me get something now. Block it, y'all. I'm trying to get the scripture real quick. This is, uh, is it First Timothy or Second Timothy? Okay, this is, uh, this is, uh, First Timothy chapter, uh, 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh, speaketh expressly, letter. That in the latter time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Right. Like, give me a law on the emotion. This brother's giving heed to the, the uh, doctrines of devils, man. Let's go down to here. First Timothy chapter 4, verse verse uh, 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but, but, but be thou an example to the believers. Okay. Saying, give me a law on the emotion, a Baphomet emotion, is not being an example, man. Leviticus 19 and 4. 
Leviticus 19 and 4. Turn ye not unto idols. <laughs> and when you got basically this idol of Baphomet emoji, man, it's not just any emoji. Again, it's a Baphomet emoji. Gone. Uh, Anton LaVey throws it up. This Gone. emoji it represents wickedness, uh, evil. So why would you uh, have something on your page talking about trying to be on my West Coast mode, laugh out loud, sunshine, and two Baphomet emoji uh, right underneath that? And you know that represents wickedness, but you're trying to justify your wickedness. So the scripture says this. Leviticus 19 and 4 says, Turn ye not unto idols, nor to yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord, your power. And you're not supposed to be turning to this wickedness, man. Yeah, that's but shit you're crazy. trying to justify and say, showing you in the scripture. So I'm going to have to show you in the scripture. It's a shame. It's a shame. I have to show you in the scripture. Being that you claim to be in this truth. Hey. Being that you claim to be a man. The scripture say this, brother. In the truth to begin with. It right? is a shame. It, uh, let's get that in Hebrews. That you even got to go back and tell a nigga this, man. Hebrews. Chapter, um. 5 verse 12 for when the time ye ought to be teachers ye have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of God and which is one of the first principles man the scripture says wisdom is a principal thing therefore get wisdom with all thy understanding get wisdom man you know roughly paraphrasing okay it says uh for the time when you ought to be teachers you have one need to teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of God what is that the most high is who we are to worship, man. We ain't supposed to be giving reference and uh, acknowledging Baphomet and Horn God, which is Karana Mudra and Buddha worship, man. Uh, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. And you're definitely a babe if you think that, that that's, that's righteous, because that means you got really leaven in you, man. For strong, okay. For strong meat belongeth to them that are full age. Even by those reason, youths have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil, man. And if you asking where is the law or the emotion, your senses have not been exercised to discern good and evil, man. And any nigga that will come up and try to justify this or or, or try to uh, have this brother's back and, and, and ju help ju be a false witness with this brother, man, you're you're off, man. That's what he's doing. He's basically fronting. Exodus 20 and 4. Exodus 20 and 4 says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. And that Baphomet emoji, that monocornuto, that horn hand, Con. is a graven image, man. And you got it up on your page. When you claim to be a leader, you're not the leader of your camp, leader of your cult. But you claim to be a representative of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is against that, man. Con. That's that left hand shit, man, that you're doing. Part of my French brothers and sisters, but that's what it is. Shatan Kai. That left hand wickedness that you represent up on your Facebook page, and then people know that you're in the truth, claiming to be in the truth, and then they see that, and they're going to think, oh, it's okay to put a box And you got niggas that'll page. justify that, man. You niggas wicked, man. But you're not supposed to have no Facebook page. Um, according to your elders, yep. anyway, Elder Tar did say that. Masters who you say obey and serve. See, <laughs> see the hypocrisy, hey, brothers and sisters. It's a lot of you brothers that follow GMS that still got That's Facebooks, man. This brother ain't lying, man. Why you got Facebook? Graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, and the horn hand is in the earth. The horn hand is in the earth because man throws it up. <laughs> That's okay. right. Men throw that up. Yeah, God. Men throw that up. So it says the, the sign of the horns is used during religious rituals in Wicca earth. to invoke or represent the horn God. So he talking about where's the law? At? It was your law, okay? It represents the horn God, man. For iniquity be in your hand, get it out of there. It says abstain from all appearance of evil. Yeah. And you're not abstaining from that, man. Hey, man. You're not doing you know what I'm saying? That's, that's it, man. You. You're not rejecting the appearance of evil, man. The brother, the brother, you know what I'm saying? Put it down on this video, man. So, like, all praise out, but now with Yahweh. Ka halayu wa tu wa ratam yaa. Baha sham yaa wa ka tu wa baha sham. Hamashiach yaa wa sham.